Um, except for our reaction time, you were the fastest guy in that heat. You were, you led it uh, every wall. Was uh, was that part of the plan? They dropped more than two and a half seconds from seat time. Uh, I mean, I knew coming into it, I knew I got to be out and fly. I mean, that's the way I swim it. Don't hold back. Might as well go all out. And I mean, start to finish. That's my goal to dominate, and I mean, hopefully, I achieve that. I, I think the other people in the heat were hoping that uh, there'd be some disinformation on the breaststroke and it looked like uh, that wasn't in your plan. No, I'm a breaststroker by trade. I mean, 100 200 breasts is my second and third event, so got to work that and got to use that to my advantage. Were you I think you were your back earlier today as well. So. Uh, yeah, overall, uh, there were things I need to clean up. I mean, a lot of mistakes I made. But well, overall, yeah, I can't complain with the time drop, so. Uh, as a swim coach, uh, tell us. Right. Tell me. I just kind of pretty much what, swam until what like mistakes you I made because it looked like I would normally warm up in the race. Uh, my back to rest turn was not good up. at all. I'm sure, I'll hear that from my coach. Um, I need to breathe to my right and freestyle. Um, a lot of the time I was you know, breathing my left and that's not the way I swim it. Got to hold on to freestyle. And that's really the two things that stuck out to me. But. Will you look at film before you uh, before you swim that again? Uh, if I get a second chance, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll see what I can work on. I'll look at the splits and go through my coach. So yeah, that's the goal. I mean, if I get a second swim, that is. One, you don't know, you don't want to know as much as you do. Thank you, I appreciate it.